going to talk about applying heat therapy and I'm going to apply it to the knee joint. So there's various ways of apply, applying heat therapy, but we're going to use a pack that we've heated up in the hydrocolator overnight, which we've carefully lifted out with a pair of tongs there because it'll be very, very warm. And we're going to pop that heat pack into one of the ready-made covers that you can get. If you don't have a ready-made cover, then you can just wrap it in a towel. So very carefully placing it in there. So that's my equipment ready. Prior to applying the heat pack, I need to check that my patient doesn't have any contraindications and I need to ensure that my patient has good skin sensation. So I've got my two test tubes. Again, I ask my patient to close their eyes and I'm going to ask them to tell me which is hot and which is cold. So is this one hot? T tell me this is hot and this is cold. Okay, close your eyes right now. Which is which? It's hot, cold, 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 hot, hot. Okay, fine. So we just checked the skin sensation there and we've prepared the area, just checking that there's no jewelry or any other piece of equipment that can conduct heat and, and would interfere with the heat therapy. So I've got my pack ready in its nice cover. Um, I've got my patient's consent, so I'm now going to wrap the heat pack nicely around her knee. And as I said, if you haven't got one of these nice pads to cover your heat pack, you can use a few layers of towels. I'm going to keep um, all the heat in there for as long as possible by, by wrapping it with another nice big towel there. Um, I'm going to check my patient after about five minutes just to check that there's no untoward erythema there or any wheels or anything like that which is, would tell me that she's having a bit of reaction to the heat um, and then keep checking every five minutes. I might apply the heat for approximately 15 to 20 minutes depending on the size of the area that you're treating um, and the depth of the lesion that you want to be having the effect with the heat therapy on.